Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how Synology handles the migration from photo stations to Synology Photos when you upgrade your NAS from DSM-6 to DSM-7. Now I just did a video on how Synology handled the Moments migration. I'll leave a pop-up for that now if you're using Synology Moments. But the photo station migration is slightly different than Synology Moments. And it's mostly because it's an entirely different product. So photo station allows you to basically upload files to a shared area. Um, basically anyone that has access to photo station will be able to view those photos as long as they have permission to it. And they also have a personal section. So they're actually entirely different applications and you can access them from uh, inside a DSM. They both have their own icon and basically wherever you decide to upload your photos to, they will either be private or shared with users that have permission. So there were three things that I wanted to test with this migration. The first was how it handled personal photos. The second was how it handled shared photos from inside of the uh, traditional photo station application. And then the third was how it handled facial recognition. So what I did is I went inside of my personal library and I uploaded a few photos. After that, I went inside of the shared photo section and I uploaded a few additional photos. And for this, I created two albums. So I created two user accounts as well. I have Frank and I have Frank2. The Frank user account will have access to both albums and the Frank2 user account will have access to only one of the albums. So we're going to see after we migrate to DSM-7 exactly what happens with these photos. Now the final thing that I did is I just uploaded a picture of Michael Jordan and I went into the facial recognition section and I enabled it and then I went back to that picture and I just set the, uh, the face name as Michael. So my expectation with this is after we migrate to DSM-7 and everything migrates from Photo Station to Synology Photos, we will have the, uh, a, a person listed there as Michael and hopefully this one picture. So as we upgrade to DSM-7, to quickly just talk through what we should be expecting, the first thing that we did is we uploaded a few pictures to our personal photo space. And the expectation with that is that those photos would have been migrated over to our personal libraries inside of Synology Photos. The second thing is we uploaded a few uh, shared albums and we have two user accounts. We have Frank that has access to both and we have Frank2 that has access to only one of them. At that point, we're gonna log into both and we're gonna see how they were migrated over. And finally, the last thing is we're expecting after everything is transferred over successfully that a uh, a person will exist named Michael and it'll be that picture of Michael Jordan. So now that everything has been migrated over, you'll see that there's basically two spaces. So this is more of a Synology Photos thing, but you have a shared space and you have a personal space. The shared space, the idea behind it is that um, this is where you can go through and upload any photos that you want all of your users on your NAS to be able to see. So this is more of like a collaboration type of space. So in our personal space on our regular Frank user account, we have the photo that we uploaded. And when we go into our shared space, we have the two photo albums that we had uploaded to the shared section of uh, Synology Photo Station. So at this point, what I want to highlight is that your personal photos are obviously going to get uploaded to your personal photo library. But everything inside of that photo folder from Photo Station is going to be dependent on what permissions you had inside of Photo Station. So for me, I had access to both. That's why I see both. What we're quickly going to do is we're going to log into our second uh, user account, Frank2. And you're going to see inside of here that I only have access to that NBA album. And the reason is because I only gave that user account permission to that one album. So if you think of this from a holistic view, I guess, any of the users that have access to any shared albums inside of Photo Station, those will be migrated over to Synology Photos using the shared space. Now the photo folder itself actually stays intact. Nothing inside of it changes. Inside of DSM, all of the folders, all of the photos, exactly as they were, they will stay put. So this shared space to me is really just a rebranded shared photo station section. So from what I've tested, and obviously I had a pretty bare bones photo station, um, you know, album set up and photo set up, but that's pretty much the extent of the actual migration. If we head over to the facial recognition section, and you have to enable this inside of Synology Photos, it's the 
uh, the People album. But you're going to see that the name that we had set up, Michael, it did not migrate over. So if you're somebody that went through inside of Photo Station and you tried to uh, set up people and basically tag their faces and you were using that for something like search, those names, at least from my testing, don't appear like they're going to actually migrate over to Synology Photos. And that's frustrating because you might have to go back and, you know, redo everything. Now, Synology Photos... Uh, facial recognition is significantly stronger than photo stations was. Photo stations honestly didn't work particularly well for me. And it was a pain because you had to go through on the picture level and actually specify the person's name and then handle it that way. So Synology Photos is stronger in the sense that it's automatically going to pick up a bunch of faces and it will then let you go through and merge those faces into one individual person. And at that point, anytime you select that people um, album and you select an individual, it should show up with all the photos that that person is in. But as far as everything else goes, that's really the extent of the migration. So you have your personal space, which is going to be reading your user's home folder, and then you have your shared space, which is going to be reading that photo folder that exists inside of DSM. And whatever's in there and whatever you have permission to, you're going to be able to access. Now, inside of Synology Photos, I will say that I had received a, uh, a comment on my last video that basically said that there was a user that was using the search feature to actually access certain folders. So inside of PhotoStation, you could have an entire photo structure set up based on year or whatever you wanted it to be. But if you would actually use the search box, it would go through and it would search the folder name as well. That doesn't appear to be working inside of Synology Photos. I don't know if that's a feature they ripped out and they'll never be adding back or if that's a bug and it's supposed to be working. But as of right now, if you're somebody that searched through photos by folder name, it's not something that appears like it's going to be working. So keep that in mind because if you have a huge photo library, there's a pretty good chance that you probably have that data structured in a way that's easily accessible to you, something that makes sense to you. And if you're able to search inside a photo station for that folder and that's how you use it, that's something that you might have to give up inside of Synology Photos. So that could be a big change. The only other thing I want to point out is that um, as far as the facial recognition goes, the one thing I haven't tested is migrating from Photo Station to Synology Moments and then migrating from Synology Moments to Synology Photos. So if I get some time, I will try and uh, basically see how that works out because I'm assuming that if the data can get migrated over from photo station to moments in a way that makes sense, um, Synology Photos maybe can read it a little better. And I'm really assuming that that can only work uh, a little better for the faces because at this point, if you went through and tagged everybody inside of photo station, that's it. You know, you're not going to have that data anymore. One final interesting thing that I wanted to point out was that if you notice, you'll see that these aren't actually migrated over as albums. So in Photo Station, they are clearly marked as albums. And in Synology Photos, they aren't. They're basically just migrated over into the shared space based on the folder structure. So that could be good. That could be bad. If you have a bunch of albums and you want them to actually be listed as albums, you'll have to create personal albums on that. If you don't, then this is perfectly fine, but it's just something that I wanted to mention. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.